Question 4. Let's read the question. Women sold K plus 3 tickets on Friday. He sold K more tickets on Saturday than on Friday. Altogether, he sold 45 tickets on the two days. Find the value of K. Okay, let's see. We mean so K plus 3 tickets on Friday. Okay, if let's say we write it down, Friday is actually equal to we mean so K plus 3. Alright, the next sentence. He sold K more tickets on Saturday than Friday. That means Saturday he sold K more tickets. So that means K plus Friday than Friday. So K plus 3. Okay, so altogether he sold 43, 45 tickets on the two days. That means in total these two add up to the 45 tickets. Alright, find the value of K. Alright, so we add this both of them up and let it equal to 45. So Friday is K plus 3. So we have to add this plus the Saturday that is K plus K plus 3. So all together is 45 tickets. So okay, so this is k plus three and plus k and plus k. We take out all the brackets plus three equal to forty five. Right? K plus three and the k and the k plus three. So how many k? One, two, three. So that's three k, so it's three k plus three and three is six is equal to 45. Alright, so if we bring over this 6 to here, so it becomes 3k equal to 45 minus 6. So actually 3k is equal to 39. So we bring over the 3, then you will know that it's actually 33, 39 over 3 and K is actually equal to 13. So the answer is 13. Yes. Number 5. Okay, let's read with the question. Lisa drew three circles to form a figure. The areas of the circles were in the ratio of 1. 4 and 16. She then shaded some parts of the figure as shown. What fraction of the figure was shaded? Alright, so we put this 1, 4 and 16 into the figure. So you can see here is 1, 4 and 16. Okay, so for the bigger shaded part is actually 16 minus 4 so 16 minus is 4 which is the white circle so the answer is 12 as for the smallest shaded part which is this small circle here is equal to 1 which is given so the total shaded part is actually 12 plus 1 right so it's actually equal to 13 therefore the fraction of the figure was shaded is actually equal to 13 over 16 which is the answer is 13 over 16 question number six let's read the question at a bakery jane paid twelve dollars and forty cents for a banana cake and four egg tarts shan paid $25.20 for a banana cake and 28 tarts. Rennie bought 5 banana cakes. How much did she pay? Alright, the solution is over here. 
J paid for one banana cake and for eight tarts equal to twelve dollars forty cents. The first statement. Okay, you see here. J paid twelve dollars forty cents for a banana cake and for eight tarts. All right. The second sentence. Shan paid for one banana cake and twenty eight tarts. Shan paid for twenty five dollars and twenty cents for a banana cake and twenty eight tarts. Twenty-five dollars and twenty cents. All right. The difference between Jane and Shan is one is four eggs, the other one is twenty eggs. So their difference is sixteen eggs tarts. All right. So banana cake, they are the same. All right. So the difference of their the prices is twenty-five dollars and twenty cents minus away. Twelve dollars and forty cents, which is twelve dollars and eighty cents, and this one is for the price of eighteen eight tarts. In order to find out one eight tarts, we have to use twelve dollars and eighty cents divided by sixteen. So the answer for this one eight tarts is eighty cents. All right. So four eight tarts is the same as eighty cents multiplied by four. So you can get three dollars and twenty cents. All right. So as for Jane, you can see the cost of one banana cake is twelve dollars eighty forty cents minus three dollars twenty cents. All right. So that means it's twelve dollars forty cents over here minus four eight tarts is three twenty cents, which is one nine dollars and twenty cents. This this is the cost of one banana cake. Therefore. Granny bought five banana cakes. You have to pay nine dollars twenty cents times five because she bought five, All right? So the total amount will be forty-six dollars, and the answer is forty-six dollars.